Good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Cindy Sexton. A female red panda at the Chattanooga Zoo died unexpectedly this weekend. Zookeepers say they're shocked by her death. The animal was only three years old and showing no signs of unusual behavior. Mena, the red panda, had two baby cubs just three months old. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Kelly McCarthy tells us about the challenges they'll have without a mother. It's a story you'll see only on 3. This female red panda, Mena, has been the first and only panda to successfully breed here at the Chattanooga Zoo. And while her cause of death is still unclear, workers at the zoo are focusing on keeping her cubs alive. Mena gave birth to two baby cubs just three months ago, and the two boys haven't been weaned from their mother yet. You know, to be honest, we could lose them just because of the change in nutrition. They're, I mean, they're, they're going to have some challenges coming up. Zoo director Darty Long says her staff had to seek guidance from experts in Knoxville. They came up with this food mixture to feed the baby cubs, who are having to learn how to eat real food much sooner than expected. So it's actually mixed into kind of a soupy mess and we're spoon feeding them. And that's not always easy to do. These cubs don't have names yet and at this age normally wouldn't be held at all. So it's challenging to get them into this feeding bag. But in a way, this unexpected parenting is keeping the employees in high spirits. And honestly, it's kind of a godsend because it makes us focus on the babies and you can't dwell as much on what's happened. Their mother, Mena, was just three years old when she died. Red pandas in captivity usually live between 10 and 14 years. But on Saturday, a zookeeper found her in the outdoor panda exhibit. He had found her in the exhibit completely unresponsive with no signs of life. The initial report from UT is completely inconclusive. There's nothing that showed up like it was a massive heart attack or something like that. And her health was excellent. It could take about two months before the necropsy is complete. Long hopes the results will provide zookeepers with some much needed closure. This was a really hard one. And usually I have a lot of words of comfort and, you know, explanation. It was, there, I, we don't right now, and that's really frustrating. And until the baby cubs can learn how to eat on their own, they'll be kept out of the public eye. The zoo staff hopes their father, named Wyatt, will be able to raise them. In Chattanooga, Kelly McCarthy, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. The Chattanooga Zoo does not always publicize when their animals pass away, but the red pandas are one of their most endangered animals they have, and it's always one of the most popular exhibits for the community. And we'll try to keep you posted on the Absolutely. progress. Mm.